a little after 5 a.m. here. We're gonna head up, uh, try and get some pictures here. Of the sun coming up. Unfortunately, I see a lot of clouds to the east, so I'm not sure if we're gonna have a beautiful sunrise this morning. Alright, so we're driving down Schwabinger's Landing Road here. And then it's a little bit of a hike to the lake. We'll try to set up and see if we can uh, capture some kind of sunrise. It doesn't seem windy here this morning is the good news, so hopefully the lake will be still. And uh, you might, some miracle will get a little bit of light to go along with it. I know this is a photo that uh, millions of people have, but what an experience to come out here this morning. Stuck around just long enough to see the light come out, so successful morning. I'm back up in the car. I've forgotten how much I love nature photography. That's the first time in uh, three or four years probably that I've been able to sit in one spot and just uh, take it in, take some photos. Look forward to living in Washington State, being close to three national parks and a ton of other nature, getting out here and doing this kind of thing more often. All right, well, I told myself I wasn't gonna do this, but it's only a mile off the road, so I'm gonna go photograph the Molten Barn. Okay, so I cheated. I stopped at this first barn here right in Antelope Flats. And uh, I don't know, just a barn sitting in a field. It's a pretty picture, but it's not really my cup of tea to stand there with 40 other people and just take the same picture. beautiful morning out there photographing back to the girls now and pack up for our drive back up through the park and into Yellowstone the Old Faithful area. So far the drive up here was pretty uh, slow. Uh, a lot of trees, not much uh, in the way of views because this is a much denser forest to drive through than uh, down on the Tetons. All right, welcome to the Old Faithful Lodge. Not to be confused with the Old Faithful Inn. Not to be confused with the Old Faithful Snow Lodge.
All right, checked into the Yellowstone Lodge here. And we're walking up to see Old Faithful. So it erupts roughly every 90 minutes. Okay, another morning, Wednesday nine in Yellowstone. We're at the Grand Prismatic Spring. It's really steamy this morning, but hopefully we'll get a view of it. So after driving past Lakes Yellowstone, we're now up in the Hayden Valley. Totally different place. Hard to believe after driving through all those trees that you're even in the same park. Uh, some other things, I didn't really think that uh, 
it's at the altitude it is, basically the whole park's up here, Lake, uh, Lake Yellowstone's at 7,700 feet, and many parts of the park are above 8,000. So I've been in altitude before, but uh, you know, if you're not used to uh, being at altitude, it's something to consider. Also, cell phone coverage here in the park is pretty spotty. There are some limited areas that are mapped out with coverage, or you can call right before you go in to let people know that you've made it if you're driving a long distance. Because once you get in here, it's pretty spotty and limited to get any uh, service. Yellowstone National Park. 80 mile drive to Bozeman, Montana for the night. North entrance here through Montana is uh, very scenic and beautiful. Uh, it's an awesome way to exit the park. And uh, if you're going to be coming in from the north, I think you're in for a good time. Plus, this little town of Gardner here on the outside is uh, a very nice little town. It reminds me of uh, Jackson in the south. It's got a lot of little restaurants and little hotels and things. So, this wouldn't be a bad stop for the night before you go into the park after a long drive. We're here in another residence inn in Bozeman, Montana for the night. Check in with you tomorrow as we continue to head west to Spokane, Washington. Rainy morning here in Bozeman, Montana. Got a decent night of sleep last night. We're gonna push on west, see how far we get to Spokane, Washington is our goal and then it'll be onward into the greater seattle area so on the way out of uh, yellowstone yesterday all of our gopros died and we weren't able to record any of montana and today it's kind of rainy but uh, hopefully you can see a little bit of it it's such a rugged and uh, dynamic place at least here in the west half so many uh, forests and rocks and trees and wide open spaces. Spokane, Washington, day 11, final leg, 300 miles.
well after almost 4,200 miles in 11 days we have made it to Seattle Washington Thanks for watching.